dog. Oh, no problem. We found uh, what looks to be a pelvis with a. And there's a bit of a storm a brewing! <laughs> Day seven here on Smooth Rock Lake. And the water's looking a lot calmer today, so we're up early. It's about 7 a.m. We're gonna get out on the water now. We got everything packed up. And uh, we're gonna head out and try and make it to the bottom of Smooth Rock and hit that big one kilometer portage. And no wind. Hopefully. Hopefully. There's calm for wind in the forecast, so that's why we're getting started early. Yeah, wind this afternoon, so we gotta get going. Not a bad day out here on Smooth Rock, eh? Nice and calm. Hopefully it stays this way. Only hope. We're canoeing into the unknown here. It's a thick blanket of fog covering our route ahead. So nice though, the water's so peaceful. We're making pretty good time. Weather's perfect. Beautiful day paddling down Smooth Rock. Some fog, but not really much wind or waves to fight today. It's making it a real easy jaunt down to the end of Smooth Rock here. Decided to throw a few casts in before the point. Oh, that's a nice one, holy crap. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, we just finished up the Fantasia Portage. Mosquitoes are kind of thick in here. It was over a kilometer. Just waiting for Ron to get back with the fishing stuff and the electronics bag, so that'll be nice. Done a little more paddling and a little more portaging, but we knocked out the biggest one. Moving on, and it's only 10, 11 a.m. We're just paddling through Spring Lake now. And uh, then we got a bunch of short portages up ahead and we're thinking maybe we'll stop for lunch at Walleye Kitchen, hey? I wonder what we're gonna have for lunch. Yeah. We're just coming through Spring Lake here. Short little paddle to break up the portages. Wicked. Wicked. Another day, another portage. We got uh, three short ports here, and then we're gonna make it to Walleye Kitchen, so that's pretty exciting. We just gotta motor through these portages. The last one uh, was pretty quick too. We uh, almost did like sort of like a one and a half carry. I only carried once, and then uh, I carried the canoe in a bag, and then Ron came back, so it was a lot faster. Uh, so maybe we'll try that again here, eh? No, you're carrying everything this time. Oh, okay. Well, we just came from that short portage and now we got a portage through this. We're sure getting our portaging practice in, eh, Ron? Well, we're perfect at it now. Don't think we're going to be able to paddle through that. We're going to have to take the old portage. Well, we just did it. We finished a third of those series of portages and we were rewarded with a nice view. Beautiful.
We're just coming in now to Walleye Kitchen. Pretty beautiful here. We already saw a fish jump out of the water, so we know they're in there. We're hoping for a nice shore lunch. We'll keep you posted. Nice! Beauty! We're all about the same size. Yeah. We're gonna have a nice short lunch today. Good work. Where is he? Whoa. Perfect. Good work. We're gonna have a real nice lunch today at Walleye Kitchen. We're just getting the preparations in order. Just like that, we're having a nice shore lunch. Wicked. Look at that. Nice fresh fillets. Oh yeah. That was pretty tasty walleye. Made myself a nice little pita here. Ron's got a little pita going. Life is good at the walleye kitchen. Well, we're all finished our shore lunch here at Walleye Kitchen and we're both feeling pretty full right now. Now that we got a full belly, we gotta keep on paddling. We're gonna feed Bruce soon. You named him Bruce. Well, let's see. Old Bruce. He's ready to come in and eat. We left some skins for him and stuff. We're here now at Sunrise Falls. We got a short little portage up through here. Not a bad view here. Caught a walleye down in there while Ron was portaging. Not too shabby. It's a little windy, but other than that, it's nice and sunny. Everything's perfect. Beautiful day. Here comes Knuckles, second last portage of the trip. He's just killed it. Look at him. Columbus, here we come. Now watch how smooth he puts these in. Gently down to the hip. They're putting pressure on me now. He makes a turn. He's got his end hooked, but he gently puts the front in the water. Oh no. Oh. And he's gonna miss the rock. Let's see if he misses the rocks. Here he goes. Here he goes, and it's clean. clean. We're now just coming out on Onamakawash Lake. I think that's how you pronounce it. Just have one more portage over the railroad tracks. Doing pretty good. Wicked. It sure feels good to have a tailwind for once. Oh, first time in seven days. Oh, wow. The wind is just pushing us. It's incredible. What a feeling. Yesterday we were going right into this kind of stuff. Now we're heading east towards Schwanibus and we got the wind pushing us and we think it's going to push us all the way home. We just got one more portage but we're definitely not going to burn ourselves out paddling getting there. Pretty awesome. 
Well, we're just about to the railroad tracks and coming through here, there's quite a few cabins tucked in here. What a cool place this would be to have your cottage. Pretty awesome. We're at the final portage. The railroad tracks are up there, but it looks like there's a tunnel going underneath, with some water running through it. Can you see the light at the end of the tunnel? Yep. Come on in. It's quite deep though. You see? Oh yeah. Hmm. But it's it's quite deep. Like Echo. See the rope? Yeah, the little rope there down the side. Yeah, maybe we'll just go over the top, eh? Yeah, it's quite deep to walk through. You could do it. You can actually slide the canoe through. Got Ron climbing up the tracks. Looks awfully steep. You're like a mountain goat. Here comes Knuckles up the side of the track at pole 1000. It's like quicksand, eh? Yeah. Watch the last step, slippery. Made it. Hopefully nothing's coming around that bend. We'll have to be listening. Pretty cool. You can see how much altitude we got here. Sounds like the trains are coming. Good thing we weren't dragging the canoe across there. Ooh, we had to run. <laughs> We're just pulling away from the railway stop there, and we are now officially in Schwanabis. The last portage of the trip is complete. No more portages. That's a pretty awesome feeling, and we're headed on our way now to hopefully a nice warm cabin for the night. So that'll be nice. You don't have to worry about rain and all that. Some thunder and lightning. Yeah. Okay. Just a short paddle away. Well, we did it. We made it to the Schwanabis Lake outpost. Yeah. Which is where we're going to get picked up by the float plane. Not tomorrow, but the next uh, really early morning. So it's nice to get in here early. Make sure we don't miss that flight and get windbound or anything like that. Yeah, we don't have to sleep in the hammock tonight. Yeah, get a nice bed. When we wake up, it'll be nice and warm. We can sleep in because we don't have to worry about the wind picking up. <laughs> nice. It's going to be pretty awesome. We'll do some fishing tomorrow. Try for some lake trout. Yeah, we're going to catch nice. a laker tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. First lake trout. Wicked. Wicked. We're in the cabin now and we're pretty tired. Feeling pretty tired. It was a long day, a long paddle, a lot of portages, but. How many portages today? I think nine. Oh my God. Oh, you paddled 26 kilometers? 
We're just kind of getting our stuff organized here. And dried out. And dried out. Oh, damn. But it was a great trip. Oh, it was wicked. It was a lot of fun. So we're going to rest up tonight, and then we'll go out tomorrow for a nice fish. Maybe a nice shore lunch tomorrow. Oh, wicked. <laughs>